get out, smile at the yeah. You don't need to go far, cause you're already there. All you will learn, make it work, and you will learn the price of life itself. Welcome back everybody, my name is Nora, I make motorcycle adventure travel videos, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about Namibia. Um, we're really, really close to the end of our Cape to Cape trip from Norway to South Africa. And we've already been in South Africa, but we went back up to Namibia because my parents are flying in to travel a little bit around with us. Because they've already been to South Africa on... A, a, they, they keep following me around. I don't know why, like... No. Anyways, I'm super excited to see them. Last time we saw them was in Jordan. And that's about six months ago, I guess. So yeah, super duper excited to see them. We loved spending time here in Grunau, visiting the Fish River Canyon and sleeping under the stars. This honestly has been some of the best Milky Way sightings I've ever done. Um, we really need to get a new lens to do some more Milky Way photography because this lens is really beautiful for portraits, but really doesn't cut it. We need a wider angle. We're heading on. Uh, north, taking the straight route up, just following the highway, so when, even if I would have footage, which I all lost, uh, all the GoPro footage of this whole Namibia trip is lost, um, it was really boring because <laughs> the road is dead straight. I have one picture of how straight the road is up to Windhoek and <clears throat> look at this, this is ridiculous. But a few kilometers on the side, Halfway up, we found this beautiful campsite on the water. Um, I really don't know where this water is coming from, but yeah, we spent a few days there just matching up the time when my parents are flying in and when we are going to be there. So yeah, a really, really relaxing few days. Oh, the tent? Oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't know. Just the tent and then we're done. Just put away the tent Okay. Okay. It's good. Okay. After that, we headed north, meeting my parents in the capital of Windhoek. They rented a 4x4 and we are continuing on our motorcycles. After that, we rode up to Etosha National Park. We camped just outside and the next morning, before sunrise, we went there, 
check out the animals. You guys all know how super excited I get going on safari, but yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna share one more time with you guys, safari life. park for three days and it was relatively busy I have to say maybe you have this image of safari where you are just by yourself in the middle of nowhere in a park but that's usually not the case most of the time there's somebody behind you or just around the corner um, but we did manage to find some more of the remote areas of the park and sometimes you're lucky you find some animals there but usually the remote areas are because there are not that many animals in that corner. So yeah, it's, it's a trade-off, you know, but I loved traveling through this park. I had heard about it uh, on my previous Namibia trip and I didn't manage to go there. So this time around, I really wanted to visit Etosha. And I don't know why, but I, in my mind, it was um, wetter which it wasn't. Given that we were there in a dry season, but still it was, yeah, dry. <laughs> and uh, we saw lots and lots of giraffes. It was a giraffe fest.
I do have a really good tip though if you are planning your own Africa adventure. Um, we came down the east coast, so Kenya, Tanzania, countries like that. And if you are on a tight budget and you want to see some animals, don't do it over there. Because in Kenya and Tanzania you pay at least $100 per person per day to just enter the park. You don't have anything else. And here in Namibia and South Africa, prices are much, much better. So we are paying around $10 per person just to enter the park. And then of course you pay a, a fee for the car, but it's nowhere near what you would pay on the East Coast. So yeah, quick little tip for me, check out the animals here in Southern Africa. I just had so much fun hanging around with my parents. Of course we get into our little fights, but that's just the way it is, you know. And it's such precious times to get to make memories with your family. So I highly recommend flying with your parents or partner or kids on an overland adventure. Definitely. Although, take your kids. Why would you leave your kids at home? Anyways. for today. Uh, hope you guys like this episode. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did or leave your comments down below and I'll see you all in the next episode. Lots of love. Bye. A big shout out to all my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me. A special thanks to Victor Bart, Thomas Lubbe, Dan the Priest, Eddie V. Matt, Cindy Balrich, Robert Schulze, Robin and Rebecca, Jeremy Thorpe and Pradeep Singh. I couldn't have done it without you. If you're also interested in becoming part of the ADV tribe, go check out my Patreon page where you can find out more about how to support these videos.